Hello Loretta Australia girls from very, very chilly New York. My name is Francesca and I'm the current youth representative for the IBVM and CJ Sisters at the United Nations. I'm at the UN building right now. Um, I just wanted to show you. So just here we've got the General Assembly where all the big conference rooms are. Here we've got the Secretariat building. And then here we've got the beautiful East River and Long Island City. And then of course behind me we've got the spectacular, very cold New York City. And I've recorded a video for you inside the UN for International Women's Day and I hope you enjoy it. I just wanted to give you a bit of an introduction from out here in my nice warm coat and just wish you guys a happy International Women's Day. It's quite busy today so please excuse any noise. There's a whole lot of kids from around the world doing Model United Nations. So it's pretty crazy and there are a lot of tours going on but it's a very vibrant place so it's hard to get a quiet time here but I thought it'd be nice to um, talk to you guys from the UN itself. And so I'm the youth representative at the moment for our office at the United Nations in New York. And what that means is that through our work in advocacy, I am advocating more for young people and especially for girls and young women. So for you guys at school and for our schools all over the world. And what that means is that within our meetings and within the different commissions, I'm always kind of reminding people to think about young women and girls in different kinds of issues and then what roles we play in different issues. So for example, recently we had the Commission on Social Development and the theme for this commission was homelessness. So I attended a lot of events about youth homelessness and specifically how homelessness relates to girls and young women and the specific challenges they face. And then my, the other side of my work here is also to try and bring information and bring experiences back to you girls. So. I want to be at the UN advocating for you and then I want to let you guys know what's happening at the UN um, and how that can make a difference in your life and how it, how it is changing kind of the global community. And I was asked to send you a video specifically on International Women's Day. So this year is a really big year for women and for International Women's Day because it marks 25 years since Beijing plus 25. And Beijing 25 was a big commission, so it was the World Conference on Women, and it was the first real gathering of people working towards um, progress in gender equality. And so why it's so significant this year is because we're kind of reflecting back on the last 25 years and where have we achieved progress for women, where do we still need to move forward, and just looking at the status of women as a whole in the community. Now, as I just told you, as a role as my youth representative, a lot of my work will be looking at young women and girls. And specifically that girls are different from boys and they're different from adult women. So they pose really um, individual challenges. Sorry, there's a tour group going past right as I speak and I think they're having a little look. Um, so how do girls um, fit into the global community and what unique challenges do they face? So you can rest assured that I'll be advocating on your behalf as much as I can as well as for the other Loretto and CJ girls all over the world. Now for International Women's Day, I guess it's one day in a year to remind us to advocate for women's rights, but it's really just a reminder for the rest of the year as well. So it doesn't mean that our advocacy should just stay for one year or just for the Commission on Social Development, oh, Commission on the Status of Women, sorry. Advocacy for women's rights should be a constant thing. And I think something that's really important for me to get across to other people is that impact can look really different for different people. So you don't necessarily have to be at the United Nations to have an impact. Um, think about what kind of impact you want to have. So think about what your passions lie, like what kind of issues they lie in. So for me, I'm more passionate about environmental issues and issues related to science. For other people, it might be poverty. For other people, it might be health. So think about where your individual issues lie. Another thing that's really important is to think about what scale of impact you want to have. So things like grassroots impact can be very important. But then there's also things like policy impact, so at a larger scale. And then what kind of, um, what kind of, you want to be for change. So things like an activist, an advocate, an ally or an agent. How do you want to progress and how do you want to affect change as, as who you are and as, as we are comfortable with and where you see the most impact. So I just want to keep encouraging people that impact does look different for everybody and you can make a change. It is valuable. Um, you are heard. And I know that this year is the year of verity. Um, Loretto values were a really important thing to me that I experienced when I was at school in Mandible Hall in Turak. And so I guess in terms of verity, what you can see it is, is that any kind of advocacy and any kind of impact needs truth. 
and you need to embody your whole truth. Um, truth is one of those things that no one can deny you of your truth. So if you're speaking from the heart and you're speaking in your own experience, it can be one of the most powerful ways to affect change because no one can take that from you. So use it to your advantage as young women. How can you embody your truth in the change that you make? Um, you are heard. I am here doing my best to advocate for you. I always think of the different Mary Ward quotes, so things like be seekers of truth and doers of justice, and women in time will come to do much. So Loretto Girls of Australia, um, now's our time. I just encourage you to do as much as you can. I'm always thinking of you from the UN, and I'm always trying to engage um, different stakeholders as much as I can in the issues of girls and young women but you are just as powerful and I'm sure you will be. So I'm just encouraging you this International Women's Day um, to keep fighting for women and girls, to be grateful for the people that have come before us and gotten us to this stage and to really celebrate what being a woman and a young woman in today's society means for you. So I hope you have a great day celebrating. I'm thinking of you from cold New York and please get in touch if you have any ideas of how we can engage more. So have a great day.